Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video has been prompted by two requests from subscribers who wanted to have their crow brakes on a switch but also will only activate when the throttle is in a certain position. Now I didn't want to just make a small video showing those alterations because then that means if someone's a beginner they're going to have to go back to the original video and then come back to the new one so they can make these adjustments. So all I'm going to do is rerun the original video and put the changes in so that you can see how to make this work on your throttle. So let's switch over to the original video. In this video, I'll show you how to set up crow brakes in your Radio Master TX12. Now, crow brakes are normally used on gliders. Now, what would happen is that your flaps will go down. In the middle position of your switch, your flaps will go down. But in the back position, your ailerons will come up as crow brakes. So let's switch over to the radio and I'll show you how to do the mixing uh, so you can achieve this. Now let's take a look at the crow brakes on the Radio Master TX12. We're going to hit the menu button and the first thing we're going to go through to is our modes, flight modes. And in flight mode zero, if I push enter, now you'll see I've set up the, oops a daisy, too far. I've set up global variable one as 50% and then global variable two as 40%. And G1 is for the ailerons and G2 is for the flaps. Okay, so we can come back out. So that's what we need to do there. We're going to move on now to the mixes. Now in the mixes, you can see we've got our normal aileron channels. We've always got four, two, four servos to, to do the flaps and the ailerons. So channel one and channel four, uh, beg your pardon, channel five are our ailerons. Now the first line is absolutely standard. It will be exactly as it was when you set the model up. Um, then we're going to come out. We're going to, then we need to add a line. Now, if you've seen my other videos, you will have seen how to do this. But let me just quickly show you. All you do is hold the enter key down and say insert after. And then it will go straight into the edit window where you can put these settings in. Okay, but I'm now going to go down. I'm going to just edit it. And in the second line, we have to pick our switch F, which is this one which is probably, because the, the lesser amount of the switches you have on this one than a full-size radio, you probably would want to use this one. So I'm using this one. So the source is switch F. The weight is G1. That's the um, global variable that we set up for the, for the crow brakes. Then we have to have an offset of zero. And the next thing we have to do is just select the switch, which is going to be in the back position you can see it's active if I turn it off there we go it's active so you're going to pick that switch the switch F in the fully back position then we go down and we're going to put it in the slow up and slow down I put 1.5 um, I think it's seconds but let's you can put that in there and you'll see what happens it's quite cool how that works right then we're going to come back out now so that is the first aileron line sorted out for the actual crow brake part of this exercise. Then we're going to go into channel five, the second aileron, and we're going to do the same. This time you can see it's a minus. Now this will depend on the orientation of your servos in your wings. So you may have to change this to a plus or a minus. So in this case, in my case, my test rig, it's um, minus G1. We have no offset, no differential. The switch now, again, in the back position you can see it's active and then I put in the delay up and down there we come out now we're going to move on to the more complicated bit this is for the flaps now you should have two channels well you will have to have two channels to do this so in the first line let's go in there you can see that the source is again switch F the weight needs to be zero and the offset has to be minus G2. Now that is the flaps global variable that we set up. So we're going to, in all the flaps, we're going to uh, options. We're going to check. We're going to pick the G2 option, and then the differential is zero. And then the switch this time now in the middle position. You, you can see it's active in the middle position. And then we're going to return. Turn. We go into the second line. 
because we need two lines. And we're going to edit. Now in the second line, which again, our switch we choose is F. And our weight is zero. Our offset is minus G2. Our differential is zero. And then switch in the back crow. position. And you can hear it says crow on. All right. And then we can return. Now that's the first flap, the, le the left flap set up. Then we have to go and do the same for the second flap channel. Let me quickly go in there for you so you can have a look at them. So it's switch F, weight zero, offset G2, diff zero, switch in the middle position for the first line. And then the second line of flap R is switch is the F switch, weight zero, offset G2. The differential is zero and the switch in the back position. Now that should be everything we need to do to set up the crow mixing with the flaps. So if we come out, since recording the video for the crow bakes for the Radio Master TX12, I've come up with another way of programming the crow bakes and the flaps so that you can have the snail mode for the flaps as well. So let me show you how to do this. Now, if I show you now with the flaps on the screen, down. you can see that the flaps came straight down crow on. and then the crow is comes down. Uh, the crow break come up slowly. Flaps there down. you go. So, flaps but up. We can alter this. We need to hit our model button, go across to the mixes. Now, it's not a very big change we have to make, but we need to go down to our channel six, our, our first servo for the flaps push enter and push edit now here we need to change the source to max we have to go all over the place to find it there it is okay now here we need to put the weight now in as minus g2 so let's just click again and we're going to go to minus G2. Then the offset is going to be zero. So we should just push. Whoops, there we go. We change that to zero. Okay, and then we can now put here a delay in. Oh, sorry, beg your pardon, to slow up or down. So we are going to just put three seconds. That is far too long, but we're just going to put three seconds in. Oops, Daisy, too fast. There we go, and on to the next one. Okay, now that is the first line. Now we have to edit all of the lines. So we're going to go into the second line, and in here we are going to again change the source to max. There we go, from long press we go straight to it. Then the weight is going to be minus g2 our offset needs to be now zero oops a daisy there we go and we can go down to the bottom and we can again put a slow up and slow down figure in one and then and enter and now we need to repeat this with the second flap channel, which is channel seven. And there we go. That's all the channel changes that we need to make. So if we now go into, we come out of the editing window, and then now, if we flick the switch forward, flaps down. you see our flaps are slowly moving down now. Crow on. And our crow brakes are slowly moving up. We go down. Flaps down. And flaps then up. There we go. So that's all the changes you need to make to be able to have the snail mode so that the surfaces move up and down slowly. 
there are many ways with OpenTX to program your radio. So if you weren't interested in that mode, you can stick to what I've already shown you, or you can change it so you can have that feature. Okay, now I have forgotten something. Let's just go back in. We're going to go page across until we get to the play tracks. Now in here, you heard the tracks as I was flicking the switch. So I've, I've put a sound to the switch F forward, flap up in the middle, flap down and then fully back, crow on. So you can set those up as well so that you can, I love having the sounds on my radio, so I always set those up. Now let's change the settings so that we can have the crow brakes only activate when the throttle is in a certain position. So let's switch over. I'm going to show you this in companion first. First thing we need to do is go to the logical switches. We're going to go to the next logical switch, which is three. And this is going to be A is smaller than X. We're then going to choose the throttle. And we're going to put in here just for this example, minus 25. Now that's it for that line. The next line, we are going to add another logical switch. This one is going to be AND. And here we select logical switch three. Logical switch three. And then our switch has to be SF in the back position. There we go. That should be everything we need to do in logical switches. Now we need to switch over to the mixes. Now we need to go to the mixes and all we're going to do is change the reference to the switch SF in the back position to be the logical switch four. So let's go to the mixes and all we need to do is go to the second line of the aileron which is our crow brakes, change the source to logical switch four and the switch to logical switch four Say OK, go to the second aileron channel and do the same again. We're going to change this to logical switch four and the switch source and the switch to logical switch four. Say OK. Now we should be able to simulate. So if we simulate the radio, I'm just going to reset this. So if we look at the bottom of the screen here, we can go flaps. Now I'm going to pull the throttle forward. Now, if I now go to crow brakes, crow nothing's happened with the crow brakes, but if I pull down, nothing, nothing. There we go. Crow brakes are working. Go back up again. Crow brakes are off. Go back down. Crow brakes are working. So there we go. We've uh, shown that this is actually doing the job. Now I want to go back to the logical switches. Now, if you wanted it to just work when your throttle is completely down what you can do is only you can use the logical switch you already have for your safe throttle now i've done a separate example just to explain how this works but you you could use the original set, um, logical switch one to be able to still do this so let's demonstrate that okay we go back to our logical switches and here you see if i now say and logical switch not three, but one, which we've already set up for the safe throttle. If I change that now to logical switch one, and then we say simulate. Disarmed, flapped down, okay. flapped up. So if we pull our throttle up, and we say, down. there go our flaps, and then we go to crow. crow. So now we can play around with our throttle. Our crow brakes aren't going to actu actuate, but as soon as I chop the throttle, the crow brakes actuate. So there we go. So you don't need, if you've got a safe throttle set up, you don't need to have another logical switch. But I wanted to show you how it worked independently so that if you wanted to change it to be, you know, your throttle still is slightly running to over, you know, uh, overcome the drag of the uh, flaps and the uh, crow brakes being actuated, you could do that. So I wanted to show you both ways. Now let me show those settings on the actual radio and then I will show you the demonstration on my test rig. Now let's take a look at the settings on the radio. We're going to hit the model button. We're going to go across until we get to special functions. And you can see there's LO3 is A is smaller than X. We choose the throttle and we put a, a rating of minus 25. Then we go on to logical switch four, which we say is AND, and then logical switch three with switch SF in the back position. 
Now, if we go forward, we then would have to go into our mixes on the second line, and we're going to edit it. And we had to change the source from switch some SF back to LO4. Sorry, the, yeah, the source from uh, switch F to logical switch 4, and the um, sorry, the switch to logical switch 4. We come out, we go into the second mix for the second aileron, and we edit. And there we have to change the source from switch SF to LO, uh, logical switch 4, and then the switch at the bottom, oops a daisy, keep going too far, we had to change to logical switch 4. And if we come out, we can demonstrate that it is working on the screen here, because we go flaps, flaps down. have my throttles up, crow but nothing happens on the crow until I go there. So we could actually change the sound to only go off when the throttle is down. So we'd actually know, we have get an audio, audible, audible warning that the, the crow brakes have deployed. Now let's switch over to the uh, test rig and you can see this working. Now let's demonstrate the crow brakes. Um, as you can see on my radio, my ailerons are working correctly because I'm flying mode one, so the throttle's over here. If I now put the throttle on and we're coming into to, to land. Flaps down. We drop the flaps and then we go to the third position, the uh, switch F back. Brakes activated. Now it's told me that they're activated and I play around with my throttle. And as soon as I drop Brake my throttle, deployed. the crow brakes deploy. And if I put the throttle back up again, they will come back down. There we go. That's the uh, demonstration of the crow brakes being set up uh, to be activated by your throttle. Crow brakes deployed. There we go. And if we turn the flaps crow, down, flaps the up. crow brake and the flaps off, obviously that nothing will happen with the throttle. It will just um, it will only activate the crow brakes when the switch flaps is forward, down. as you can crow see. Brakes activated. Crow brakes deployed. And there we go. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends and please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye bye.